I don't know if you can hear it, but that's the wind. This storm has been going on like crazy. I'm gonna, hopefully it will work. That's not where the light is out here. The light is over here by the door. So, um, yeah, I don't know if you guys saw that. My roommate and coworker, they have been stuck on the mainland all day because the ferries are not running. The ferries are supposed to start running tomorrow. And I was making the joke to my family, like, oh my gosh, they're going to hot put it to have to get to work because we're supposed to go to work tomorrow. Um, my boss just called me, which is why I'm filming and I'm being quiet because it's almost 9 o'clock. We don't have work tomorrow! The storm has been so bad that literally the sidewalks, the streets, everything is just covered in ice. That is how bad it is. And I know that's how bad it is because I accidentally locked myself out of that apartment, this, the dorm this morning. So I was actually banging on neighbor's doors. I ran downtown. I don't know where I ran downtown. Nobody was at the store. I knew that. And then I ran to the police station. I actually fell once and it was so, wind was so bad. The ice was literally hitting me in the face and it was hurting. So I don't have work tomorrow. Okay. That is like totally insane. I have never been at a job where the weather has been so bad, they have called work. Like when I was working at Staples, one of my, in like January of 2015, 2016, no, 2017, I went to work one day after an ice storm. That was the day I fell and strained my right rotator cuff, throwing my arm out like this so that I wouldn't hit my head. So that is how I have, that is how my jobs have been. So I've never been at a place where in the middle of a Michigan winter, they have called work. Of course, it helps that it's a small store and it's not even open yet. So I'm going to try and show you guys what it looks like outside. It's dark, so I don't know if this will work. Hang on. Oh, you guys probably can't tell because of the light. I'll have to show you guys tomorrow morning. Probably have right now about five inches of snow and they're predicting anywhere from six to 12. Um, the bridge was even closed for most of the day today to high profile vehicles like big semi trucks, vans, stuff like that. It was only open to like small passenger vehicles because the winds were gusting over 50 miles an hour. The waves were huge. <laughs> and um, I'm actually not that far from the water. Like I live on this little alleyway and I go out my door, I turn right, I go, that's where I hit the street and like literally the lake is across the street from where I'm staying. So it's like I hit down to our there's the water in the boardwalk and then I am like just a couple houses back from Main Street so I'm actually there's a hotel called the Windermere and then there's a couple houses and I'm back behind the Windermere and on the other side of the Windermere is the Iroquois and Windermere Point and that's where the water is so um I have I'm actually able from my window on a good day I can see the lower peninsula so I couldn't see the lower peninsula at all today so and that is how crazy the storm has been. And it's been like the entire state. Midland schools, where I'm from, they don't have school tomorrow. So I'm totally sane. I've spent most of the day playing Old Republic. I'm actually going to get go brush my teeth, get ready for bed. I'm actually going to go jump back on the Old Republic because there's not, because I was going to go to bed by 1130. There's no reason for me to go to bed early now because I don't have work tomorrow. So I can stay up till midnight playing old so I can stay up for a little bit longer playing older public. I think I'm gonna go play as log in really quickly as Esther and go, hey guys, I'm gonna go play as Massey. Bye <laughs> and just sleep in it tomorrow I will spend the morning probably after I get up I will probably spend writing um and then write for a little bit after lunch and then about so get up hopefully before around eight. Get up at eight, have breakfast and then from I'm going to say from 10 to 2, I'm going to be writing and I'll have lunch. And then from um, two, no, from 10 to 3, I will write. And then from 3 to 9, I will play Old Republic, <laughs> which is kind of weird because I have a schedule where I will only be, well, I'll only be playing Old Republic Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, and then writing Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. Well, tomorrow I can do both because tomorrow I don't have work. So... This is totally surprised and shocked. And it's also funny because a couple hours ago, my boss actually texted me to let me know the island cable has been knocked out for the entire island. So nobody on the island has cable, which is fine because we don't have it here anyway. <laughs> we have our cable hooked up, but it's not working. So I haven't been watching it. When I do watch it, I just go online. So cable has been knocked out to the entire island. It is so bad that most of the businesses tomorrow will actually be closed. So I'm not stepping foot outside the dorm tomorrow. I'm not leaving till I have to go into work on Tuesday. So 
tomorrow's I have spent the last, except for this morning where I locked myself out of the dorm, I spent the past couple days just hunkered down in my dorm and just hanging on. So I'm going to get going and play some more Old Republic. Yes, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, right, good morning, everybody. It is 930. It is Monday, and usually I would be getting ready to head out the door to work. Um, where we're currently at right now, downtown, is only like 10, not even 10 minutes, like about 5 minutes walk from where I'm staying. So I would actually, I would get out, I would probably go down and take some pictures and stuff. But um, as you can see, I'm still inside. I am not leaving to get ready for work because I don't have work today. Like I said last night, and I'll probably post, get this put together today and post it as kind of this update because... I don't have work. It is, this is still surreal to me. I saw my um, boss slash landlady this morning. She was actually stumbling sidewalks and stairs. It is still snowing. In fact, that winter storm warning I told you guys about that was supposed to end at 2 a.m. this morning, well, the weather service actually extended it. This winter storm warning now is not ending till 8 p.m. tonight. So we are supposed to get, yesterday we were supposed to get about 6 to 12 inches of snow. Today they're predicting another 6 inches. It is snowing like crazy. The good news is the wind has died down. So there's no wind, which is nice because last night, every time my bed, every time I picked up my bed was literally shaking. So the wind is not blowing now, but it is kind of surreal because I hear snowmobiles. This is April 16th. And while snow in April is not that uncommon in Michigan, there has been snow in May. Um, I have always lived in the southern part of the state. So by this time, the snow is like, we have it, but it's mostly sleet and ice. So most of the time it's gone. It comes and it goes. And so I've never actually spent this time of year somewhere north like Mackinac Island. So it's still so surreal for me that um, there's enough snow that it doesn't look like April. It literally looks like it's December and they are still, they can start using their snowmobiles. I want to think November 19th on the island. It's the first time you start using your snowmobiles and you can use them to April 19th and today's April 16th and I have heard snowmobiles going up and down the main street. So it is kind of totally insane. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like from my front door. I am not stepping foot outside. I told my parents, I'm like, my boss has said this day after I see she was going to put down some ice melt to see if that would help. Of course, the thing is, is it's still snowing, so that's not going to help much. So it is insane. And um, my parents told me, yeah, it's another good day. So since I have the day off work, I'm staying, I'm hunkering down. I'm waiting to see when my roommate will come home, but she might choose maybe to stay at a friend's house or something just because of the ice. So. If you can't hear, there's snowmobiles outside. So let's go see what's going on outside my door. All right, so this is what it looks like outside my front door, which is kind of insane. Usually if I lean out this window right here, I can actually see the lower peninsula. Okay, so give you guys a heads up. So I'm living in this apartment, that yellow house right here at the end, that is, there is a snowmobile if you don't believe me. That is my, boss's house she lives there and then this whole second floor i'm gonna close that that whole second floor is um that is um this is employee housing there's three apartments on this one so this whole second floor right here is employee housing so we'll come over here to the window i don't know how well you can see it but that big Okay, we're going to have to do the door. The snowball girl got left, so that's a good thing. He was probably lost. Um, let's try it for me, because the window's not very good. Because the so we'll come over here, where the window is fogged up. Okay, that big yellow house where my finger is, is actually... Wait, I can't see it now. You can usually see the window mirror from here, and I don't know if it's... It's not that one. I want to say... You can see the window mirror from here. So actually I could see the window mirror from my living room and then Main Street's on the other side. So but it's so warm in here because I turned up the heat. So yeah, that's what it looks like right now. And you saw the guy in the snowmobile, so. Yeah, so it's kind of totally bonkers with the weather and everything. And, um, 
they actually posted on Facebook page, Mackinac Island News and Views, that, hey, a lot of businesses and hotels are opening up within the next two weeks. Um, so I know Mission Point, like I keep saying, Mission Point is opening April 27th is going to be their opening weekend. And then um, the downtown, Loon, the down, Loon Feather downtown is supposed to be opening up this week. Actually, funnily enough, Mary was going to try and open up the store today. Today was actually going to be the first day of full operations at the downtown Loon Feather where we would also be um, getting stuff together, pricing stuff for um, the hill. But this week, today, actually was going to be the first day the Loon Feather was officially opened. <laughs> um, that's not happening, obviously, because she called off work. <laughs> and I don't think there's going to be too many people out and about today. Yes, I'm wearing my um, Stafford shirt. Go Lions! One reason I'm happy we've decided that I'm going home so early in October is I have a better chance of seeing more Lions games. <laughs> because we don't have cable, and I love watching the Lions on Sunday, so... um. But yeah, this is totally insane weather. It is nuts. I cannot believe it is going on. So I'm going to get these uploaded and edited. I'm going to spend today working on crossing battlefield. And then later I'm going to play some more Old Republic. It was funny because last night in the game, I was actually talking to my guild because I was hanging out with them and I made the comment, hey, if um, I'm, I've decided I'm going to write Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays and play some Sundays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And I made the comment that, hey, if something doesn't change, um, if something changes with my job or something like that, I might log on for a little bit tomorrow, not thinking anything was going to happen. And I log off, and there's a text message from my boss saying work's been called off. So I'm like, what the heck? So I, I got ready for bed. I turned back on, and I played Old Republic. So I'm going to play some Old Republic today and tomorrow. So... This is insane. This is absolutely nuts. And I actually have Thursday off. So I go back tomorrow, Wednesday, and then I have Thursday off. And then I work Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And I have Wednesday, Thursday off. So it's nice kind of having this work week. So insane. So I'm going to get going. You guys stay safe, stay sane. I'm sending you all lots of love, hugs, and prayers. And hopefully I will talk to you soon. Bye.